What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In this video here, we're doing a stock analysis on Snap Inc. This is the company that's responsible for apps such as Snapchat. If you've ever heard of it, it's been a pretty popular app over the last little while. If you're over the age of 25 and you still have one, what are you doing? They missed earnings and the stock price has been going down. Let's throw this up in the stock research app and let's run through the numbers of Snap Inc. to get a better understanding of what this company is all about. So Snap Inc. currently trading at $10.79. This company has been getting a man the ever led living they're just getting beaten down by crazy amounts take, take a look at that october 2021 it was at a high of 71 okay look here's here's the 52 week spread guys 75 dollars on the high side nine dollars and 34 cents on the low side right as well so we are at 52 week lows basically 10 10 79 basically 2020 levels in march close at $11. I have no idea what caused this price increase. But I'll tell you right now, this is not looking healthy at all. So company's gone down by a considerable amount. Let's dive deep into see what is going on with this company. We have a negative PE ratio, which is not great. We have negative EPS. So there's negative earnings per share, negative return on equity, negative profit margin, right off the top. If I was to invest, and let's say at, because God knows some people invested around here, what are you like? What are you buying? What are you purchasing? You're purchasing a company that has negative profits, negative return on equity. And there's no money to be made in this business. This is a declining stock. If you're trading it, it's one thing. If you're long-term investing, which was something I focus here on my channel, this doesn't make sense. Cut your losses and get out of it. Uh, I'm going to tell you that right away. Because look, you load this up in the financial valuation section here. And this takes a look at the company's financial statements. So the cash flow statements, the income statements, the balance sheets. It's red across the board. board. They are doing a couple of things right. And that's the net income going up. The five-year free cash flow is going up. And the revenue is going up. The revenue is $4.6 billion. The free cash flow is in the negative. So even though the free cash flow has been going up, it is still in the negative. This is not a cash rich company. They have a questionable Allman Z score sitting at 1.91. That means they're in a gray zone of potential bankruptcy and a mediocre Piotrowski score. There's nothing that screams out to me from this company as anywhere of a potential buy. Huge debt to equity, no EPS growth. Okay, decent high current ratio. It means they have a lot of assets on hand to cover their liabilities, but the company makes no money. The company makes no money after the revenue is bought and earned or whatever. After they pay everything off, there's nothing for them. As well as now that we're going into this potential recession, potential recession, it's it's around the corner, folks. Let's be real. Now they're going to spend less on ads and they don't have a competitive product. Simple as that. This product, when it came out, the Snapchat in particular, people in my age group flock to it like flies. And I'll tell you right now, it was so popular. It was so revolutionary. It was an interesting way of communicating with others through the use of photographs. And then Instagram came along and, as I said, just swept them under the rug and said, yeah, you know what? We got it. We're going to just up our photograph game. And now you can do Instagram stories, something that Snapchat in introduced with Snapchat stories, like disappearing stories over the last 24 hours for 24 hours and then disappearing photos as well. They got no substance here. But you know what? As always, try to do a fair and rational analysis on this company. And I'll tell you right now, folks, I don't know if it's gonna be looking good. We're gonna jump into the price analysis section here. Now this portion of the software is designated to finding the intrinsic value of this company. And folks, if you're liking the video so far, hit that like button and subscribe button. It means a lot to me. It means a lot to the channel and this software here, if you want to use it for yourself, go over to leodelio.com, sign up for the site. When you do that, you'll get an invite to the discord server where you can chat with me and other like-minded investors that are focused on a value investing mentality, as well as there's a seven day free trial for the software. And I provide you with a lot of data that you can't get anywhere else for that price point. And the price point is 1499 Canadian. A month that is like peanuts if you think about it in the grand scheme of things you're paying more for Netflix which gives you nothing this 
pretty much pays for itself when if you're able to find phenomenal undervalued companies and this is a prime example because this company right here is something you don't want to be putting your money in look at all that red look at all those negative numbers not good so here's the price analysis section here I've already filled out these boxes and basically what you do with these boxes is you put in assumptions we're gonna do a 10-year analysis and I've done three different assumptions a conservative moderate and aggressive now this is what I believe the company might be able to grow by over the next 10 years 20% revenue growth up to 30% revenue growth so each box is just a different assumption profit margin and free cash flow margin probably the hardest boxes to fill in because I got negative profit margin and pretty much negative free cash flow margin so I'm speculating that they can make a 1% profit over the next 10 years and 1% free cash flow margin over the next 10 years. They very well could be beat those numbers, but I'm giving myself a margin of safety because they haven't done that yet. Price of your cash flow is currently at 133.25. We want to find numbers below 20, folks. So I'm putting this at 14, 16, and 18, respectively, as well as PE ratio putting it at 14, 16, and 18 positive numbers. This negative number doesn't help me. It's garbage. It doesn't help me at all. So this is complete speculation. And what would I like to put as my desired return? 13%. I'm going to put 13% for this business because look, at the end of the day, you can invest into an index that tracks the S&P 500, like VU or for my Canadian friends, VFV, and that will average out to be 10% a year, right? So when you're investing into an individual stock, give yourself an extra margin 13 percent is what i like to do sometimes i like to do 15 percent but 13 i like a number 13 for me maybe i'm superstitious but that seems to be the where i like to try to put my desired return in for at least that for that amount hit the calculate button the software is going to run through all these lovely numbers here and spit out what we should be paying for this company today now i wouldn't be surprised if it's going to spit out a higher number than what it's currently worth Granted, given I've given the fact that I've done some positive numbers here, but no, take a look at this. On average, 832 is what we should be paying for Snap Inc. Now, on the aggressive side, it came out pretty he like hefty. 15, 15 dollars for a DCF, 16, 16. So pretty much on average, 16.34. So it's currently undervalued if you believe this company is going to grow 30% revenue per year. I don't see that ha happening, especially now as we go into a recession. The next couple of years, I feel like are uncertain for this business. And I don't see how they are a viable option in the social media space. Mostly everybody has an Instagram account. The younger generation, I feel like they still have this app for um, peculiar reasons. I don't want to divulge. But uh, <laughs> they have this app in response to their parents being on Instagram and Facebook. So obviously people in my generation and probably like-minded folks that you're watching this video, you don't have this app. You're not going to get this app. But people are getting this app uh, if they are younger. And now I feel like that is their tar target demographic. And I don't feel like that target demographic is going to be with them that much longer. Something else is going to come up. And if they're banking on them, they're advertising to kids, essentially, that have no money. <laughs> like, like that is their core demographic, if you think about it. It's people that don't work and don't have jobs or have or mom and dad are buying them stuff. That is their core demographic. Not people like you and I, folks, trying to make um, great investments. So what do I think about Snap Inc? Completely overvalued. I'm glad that the stock price has been going down by huge amounts because look it is still overvalued in my opinion eight dollars sure I feel like it's more closer between this two dollar range and six dollar range given the fact that they haven't had any free cash flow so let's see for a quick second just to entertain myself go to the free cash flow statement go to an annual basis let's see what we got here out of curiosity ba -ba 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 -ba. Free cash flow. Okay. Look at that. Negative across the board. Negative across the board. You see those numbers here? Dude, there's there's nothing there. There's nothing there. Why on earth are you going to buy a company that's got nothing? 
it's not it's not cash positive it's like buying a farm this is why i always try to bring people back uh and try to reel them in when it comes to investing into stocks you gotta think of it like buying a farmland if you're buying a farmland that yields no crops but the land looks cool all right cool so it, the land's not giving you anything other than oh look at this empty field might as well just play soccer on it no no i'm not gonna build a soccer field i want something that's gonna be able to grow in it and this company can't grow nothing other than debt so with this <laughs> analysis staying away from snapping and you should too my personal opinion but yeah completely overvalued and if you want to see a company analyzed folks drop it down in the comment section below to get access to this software which we have 10 years of financial data as well as the obviously i showed you the intrinsic value calculator with the price analysis section as well as other different tools go over to leodeleo.com seven day free trial you don't want to miss it i'll see you in the next video folks have a good one